so uh, dimensional Lewy bodies is um, a condition that um, is the second most common form of dementia after Alzheimer's disease. And the second most common form of uh, Parkinsonism after Parkinson disease. What he recognizes, he recognizes the presence of a deposit in the brain, an accumulation of some proteins called alpha, that are many proteins, but the main proteins that accumulate is called alpha say nuclein. There is the same protein that accumulates in many conditions, accumulates in Parkinson disease, in dementia Lewy bodies, in Parkinson's disease dementia, in multiple system atrophy. And once we look into the brain of patients with dementia Lewy bodies, we are looking at the presence of these aggregates, the cellular aggregates called Lewy body disease. That's why Lewy bodies, that's why we call the, the condition Lewy body disease. But as I told you, the, whole, the pathological hallmark of dementia Lewy bodies is the same pathological hallmark of Parkinson disease. It is different than Alzheimer's disease. That recognizes mostly beta amyloid, but also there are other proteins. The, the clinical characteristic of patients with dementia Lewy bodies are the core one is the presence of memory loss. People with dementia Lewy bodies are having cognitive decline early on, and together with that, there is an association with other symptoms, which include indeed Parkinsonism. So symptoms similar to Parkinson's disease, but not exactly the same. Um, hallucinations, so people are seeing things that are not there. And usually these hallucinations usually are not frightening. Usually at the very beginning, the patient is able to identify that they are not there, they are not real at the beginning. And then there's cognitive fluctuations. In other words, there are good days and bad days. There are good moments and bad moments within a single day. Together with these core findings, there's a number of other findings that are really relevant. For example, the, one of the most important nowadays is the presence of uh, the tendency of uh, leaving out the dreams. So kicking, punching, yelling, talking in the middle of the night. Once, uh, plus there are other um, biomarkers of imaging that we can claim, we can use to make the diagnosis. But uh, the underlying idea is that people with dementia Lewy bodies have cognitive decline together with other symptoms that need to be there. Parkinsonism, cognitive fluctuations, uh, hallucinations and other additional symptoms, such as, for example, the dream and act and behavior disorder. The condition is very similar to Parkinson's disease, is very similar to Alzheimer's disease. In other words, shares some of the characteristics of both. But um, the treatment is slightly different. The diagnosis is more complex and is more challenging, even to these days. Um, that we know more about it and the clinician know more about it is still a very challenging diagnosis. Um, the important thing about this condition is that uh, mm, there's a number of medications that can help mitigate the symptoms, improve the symptoms, but we do not have, unfortunately, to this point, any drug that can delay the progression of the disease. Neither, we don't know, whether a combination of different symptoms, cognitive decline versus and Parkinson, cognitive decline and hallucination and so forth, is associated to a different prognosis. What we know is that there's a group of patients that are relatively stable. They are doing well, they're progressing slowly. And there's a group of patients that are really fast in progression. We say usually that the presence of cognitive fluctuations from the get-go, from the beginning of the disease, uh, is associated with a, with a worse prognosis. People tend to progress faster on that. However, it's not totally clear yet. Uh, the medication that we use are, are the same medications that we are using in uh, uh, Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease and sleep disorders. So we, we, we're gonna use carbidopa, levodopa, we will use uh, donepezil, Aricept, or anticholinesterase inhibitors. So we will use the same medication. 
And sometimes these medications are working better in dementia Lewy bodies, for example, than Alzheimer's disease. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. We, have, we may have to use stimulants to make people not falling asleep too much. We may use treatment for a dream and acquiring behavior disorder. But ultimately, the problem is that is a much more complex condition that require much more attention and require a different angle of treatment. It is not a, a very easy condition to be treated. And, and it's very, the, the treatment and the prognosis depends a lot. It, there's a huge inter-individual independence. In other words, people with different, Every people is different, everyone is different, and everyone is having a different way to respond to the medication, different prognosis, different symptoms sometimes. So it's very important to consider uh, the, dif the individual difference when we make this particular condition, when we treat this particular condition and disease, I would say. <laughs>